the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Which sucks. Um, how well versed because you 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 know you took took to the Christian upbringing and then you you went to a Christian college. How well versed are you in you know the Bible and Christianity and are you? I, w- I, you know, that's interesting compared to some, not, not great compared to most pretty great. Pretty great. So <laughs> I wanted to get your take on these, um, Christian jokes, you know, it just tell me heart. This is breaking my heart. <laughs> I just want to know. Can whether, I, I, w- I you, will. Yes. Will you laugh? Cause some, you know, how inside know, like, are these references? How inside, like whether, would this be funny to college oh, age I, people? I can help out. Yeah. <laughs> Season three of Crashing yeah. is about my character joining the Christian comedy tour. Which oh is something God. that oh, I've done. Cool. You did? Christian comedy show. Stop it. And yeah, yeah, it's an interesting mark. I one time really? got in trouble for saying SOB, which isn't a swear, it's an acronym representing for a swear. A swear. Yeah. I got represented for a uh, represented. I got reprimanded, reprimanded yeah. for saying penis. Yeah. And I wasn't saying like suck it. I was just uh just like saying that, you know, someone's penis. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I got off stage. This was at uh juniors in erie pennsylvania mm. wow. and the woman who had bought the club was like i only like clean comedy so when you get booked they're like can you do a clean set and i looked at it like a i need the work sure and kind of a challenge so i just literally made the 45 to 60 minutes work like that yeah and she was like you said penis up there i was like are you seriously yeah busting my chops for saying even penis? before i watch this it, it, it just sort of <laughs> it just sort of breaks my heart that there is Christian music, that there is Christian comedy, that we that because as somebody that used to be in that world, it just hurts me that we're like we're not in it, like we're not feeling what you guys are feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you like, mean to segregate kind of the Christian like, world from the other uh, this world. guy? I don't know this guy. He has the same complex yeah, emotions. Yeah, of course. But like, there's a burden to my people, and I still consider them my people. It's like. You're not allowed to express your doubt. You're not allowed to express your anger. Oh, you're not allowed to express your ugliness. Saying. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to always greed, put on that face. Your jealousy. That's what I mean. And yeah. that is not, as, as I interpret it, and I don't think that's really much up for debate, that's not the message of Christ. That authenticity and realness and truth and light is like the fucking point. So yeah. when I see us going like, well, a lot of times Christian, and this is bef- it's maybe it's better before I do this. Yeah. We're trying to represent holiness. Mm-hmm. Like, I think if you are holy, like if you connect into the infinite consciousness that erupted into the Big Bang and made everything, if you can get into that feeling of oneness, chances are you probably are a pretty equanimous, gentle, nice, patient, not very horny you know, person <laughs> right. not having 12 Mich- Mich- Michelob Ultras kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not watching yeah. hardcore. We're not reading barely legal. You know what I mean? But that comes, that comes right. after the inner transformation. Sure. Right. My people, and I used to do this, go, oh, I see the fruit of the inner transformation. So I'll pretend that's it. that I have it. That's it. Because that's, that's all that matters is I just want to be in the group so I don't appear swear. That's that what way. you bump it's up phony, against. Yeah. You yeah. bump up against what you, when you're not in that group and you meet that person, you bump up against what you perceive as this, the phoniness. That's right. What, what you, you go like, you're putting on something here. And, and I want to be. And that you don't express any doubt and that you have all the answers and it feels like it's... It's cart before the horse. Yeah. yeah and right. and I, I sympathize. I'm not saying yeah, oh, yeah, Christians yeah. are a bunch of holy, uh, phony holy people. I'm saying when I was in that church, I felt it and saw the need to do it because there wasn't land. There wasn't freedom. There wasn't room for your doubt. They might say like, your doubts are welcome. No, they're fucking not. They're not. And neither is like my alcoholism or my drug addiction or my porn addiction. It's not. We all like, you know, when youth pastors would take back in the day before the Internet would go for a conference that take over a whole uh, like a holiday in the porn, like ordering what back when you had to order porn (laughs) would go through like times 10. (laughs) Of course, because they were like this very, I think, juicy, exciting, electric, alive idea that Jesus was representing got turned into don't jerk off. And you, you know mm, what right. happens when you do that? Porn rates go through the yep. roof when you finally have a weekend away from Helen, your frigid wife. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. It sucks that we've lost the narrative. I didn't come here to preach. But anyway, no, this so is when, all good stuff. when we say there's Christian comedy, it breaks my heart because I think Bill Burr is doing comedy that is true and yeah. is therefore 
Christ-ish. You know what I'm I saying? I see what you're saying, yes. It's, it's, it's on the side of, this is what it's fucking like to be a human. It heals us. It gives us solidarity. It makes us feel less alone. That's so much better than going up and being like, you know, Bathsheba was on the roof. <laughs> and uh, do you think King David took a little peekaboo? Like, who are you helping? Okay, you yeah. just did the first Well, page. you just, yeah. I'm sure I did. I don't know, actually. Well, tell I us if tell these you are some tell of these me, guys Let's probably. see what some jokes. of these are. Let's see and by the way, my heart is open to this man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, Strong Church? Chris here. You know, they always say that preacher jokes are the worst, so we thought we'd put that to the test. Okay. This is the preacher joke challenge. Here we go. How do we know that cars are in the New Testament? <laughs> because Jesus was a car painter. Car painter. That is one of the, can you pause it, please? Yeah, yeah. That's one of the worst jokes I've ever heard. In my life. <laughs> that Tell is, us why. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like forcing... It's terrible. Yeah. When I, I went to Disneyland and they, when you were waiting in line for like the Monsters Inc. ride, they were like, write a joke and, and they'll put it up on the screen. And I was like, uh, the joke that I wanted to be on the screen. And I'm like, I'm a professional comedian. I can do this. Yeah. The joke that I wrote was, what do, uh, what is Mickey Mouse? What happens when Mickey Mouse cries? Or what does Mickey Mouse cry? Mouseketeers. Oh, that's good. It's not good. And I, I appreciate it. that. I also I liked, liked it, it. But it's like you're just trying. This is, that is 10 times better than this shit. Yeah. This is wordplay. A car painter. A car painter? It's like there was that, <laughs> that somebody did it. I like the way you said that. Just, just so, like you said it like you were literally upset. There so was a Nickelback yeah. parody song. Somebody tried to go Weird Al on Look at This Photograph. Uh -huh. And they went, Look at this photograph. It doesn't sound like photograph. Mm -hmm. I'm out. And car painter is not what we say. No. Fucking get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Let's go to the next one. I appreciate one. your rage at this, though. Uh, me too. Why did Noah have to punish and discipline the chickens on the ark? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Pause it. Why did Noah have to punish and discipline? The I chickens. feel like discipline is a clue. All right. Mm. The chickens on the ark. Because mm -hmm. they were clucking around. Mm. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. <laughs> yeah. that sounds like fucking uh, right. I know you're right. So you it might, can't be that. Um... Not, not the chickens. I mean, uh, it's going to be a chicken something play. about, yeah. It's, the, it's definitely they were chicken. They a bunch were of eggheads. Or, yeah. bunch of, a bunch of something with eggs, right? They were... To get to the other side. No, discipline. They were, right. exi they were too excited there. to be on the... <laughs> eggs. Because they were using foul language. Uh, oh, <laughs> they got us. They got us. But Can look we... at him laughing. Here's the best part. Yeah, this, this nerd guy. is like... It's, foul language. <laughs> it's yeah. not terrible. That one's at least. It's not, not terrible, terrible but that laugh right here is too. so big. But I do, yes, that's a big. The laugh. laugh was too big, and the guy's delivery was yeah. not very good. It Can was very we, deadpan. But this, what's going on here? Just one more little dip into sure, the into the Pete preaching pool. Is is like, what are we saying about a faith for grown, intellectual, interesting people when the jokes that we can appreciate are baby jokes? Right. You know what I mean. Like, we don't understand. Right. Have you read the Bible? Have you read the book of Job? Right. Have you seen the complexity right. and the sex and the violence and the doubt and the shame and the fear in that book? And that people were actually drawn to Jesus. Do you know Jesus drew a crowd? It's like fucking hanging out with Jim Carrey. Like, mm -hmm. if you went, people came and listened to him. It's not because he was saying they had foul fucking language. <laughs> Do you understand? You yeah. think you can draw an impromptu crowd back in the day when like 15 feet over someone's like just killing a goat for fun? <laughs> like, look at that, I'm killing this goat. Like you had medieval shit to compete with. People wanted to listen to Jesus and it's become like, how many lollipops can you lick <laughs> before a Jew goes to hell? <laughs> like, how the fuck did we wait, lose this? Wait a minute. Wait, do you guys That was even a better joke than the car that painter. That totally was. One, uh, Everything's a better joke than the <laughs> car painter. Uh, do you want um, to guess the, the joke answer to how do you make holy water? How do you make holy water? But first of all, let's look at how disinterested. With a hole punch. With a what? With a hole punch. A hole, hole punch. punch. Something about the punch. Oh, yeah. right. But look how disinterested the kid is listening on the left there. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. That was He's me. He's so and, bored. Yeah. Just yeah. like, God that's damn it. That's right church. before you left the church. How do you yeah. make holy water? How do you make holy uh, water? How do you make holy water? I don't know. Oh, he's milking it. Yeah. Get ready for water and boil the devil out. Oh. That is not a joke. It's Get regular oh, water and boil oh, the devil out of oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> is that oh. an orgasm? No, it's a guy who's excited about a highway. <laughs> wow. Wow. Seriously. There's wow. a wow. The Trans Canada sounds, Highway. The Trans Canada Highway. I just did a show. Shane Moss has the show with scientists where he was like, uh, when you hear a real orgasm or a real laugh, yeah. when you speed them up or slow them down, they sound like animals. Like if you take yeah. them out, and it sounds like animals. And fake laughs and fake orgasms, when you slow them down, sound fake. They still sound fake. Oh, so your, your brain is actually doing a similar type of analysis. So it's when primal, someone's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like usually too slow. Actually, one of the things we learned is if you're going to fake a laugh, speed it up. <laughs> oh, shit. It makes it seem more animal. No way. It's, but if you take a real laugh and slow it down or speed it up, it sounds like a chimpanzee. Oh. But a, a, a fake oh. laugh slowed down sounds like, <laughs> right. <laughs> when slowed down, a real laugh sounds like. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Same thing with an orgasm. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. So that's why your brain can tell. It it has a built-in thing that obviously whether or not you can trust somebody and whether yeah. or not they're being forthcoming with you is important yeah. to the yeah. survival of our species. So reading laughs and reading orgasms is actually like something you can do. You it's can like, do interesting. that. And it's probably... It's we, not just a guess. We have an innate ability to you do know. it. You yeah, know. That's it's what unconscious, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it an it, unconscious that's what I mean. thing? Yeah. It's unconscious. You know what's but even, true. It's subconscious. Subconscious. Yes, yes. sorry. Subconscious. Um, I would say your subconscious is unconscious. So, but wait a minute. Let's <laughs> <Okay>. see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you make a <laughs> um, you are uh, so funny, man. Look how bored both of these kids are. This is so funny. Like, why do the thing if you're not remotely interested? Well, you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're but saying. Do you, do you realize how fucking lame this joke is? No, let's read like, it. Break it down. So the joke is, how do you make holy water? Get regular water and boil <laughs> the devil out of it. Right. Like using basically, that's like an old it's an southern old lady yeah. who's like, "Well, you just got to bowl the devil out of it." You got to beat the tar know? out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sure. It's yeah. it was a mistake that someone goes, "Wait, that's a joke." Did well, they you just yeah. boil the devil? Did out this of it. kid? Because I didn't want. Did he laugh? Did the kid on the left laugh, or was he like? Well, you? let's see it again. Can we see the reaction of the? That, the that's what I wanted to the board I kid. To see if he, let's see if he has enough wherewithal to be genuinely bored. Get ready for water and boil the devil. Out. Oh, nope. They, they jump cut. Oh. Yeah. He's like, go fuck yourself with that joke. Yeah. He's also he's he's Jay <laughs> yeah. he's Jay Leno winning yeah. him. He's he's only thinking about how about, to say his. That's right. He's, he's not listening. Uh, Jay Leno. Yeah. He Jay Leno. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He Jay he's Leno. Like, he's like, all right, and coming up here, yeah, he's he's thinking about his thing. Um, <laughs> God, this is the most boring joke so off bad. ever. Let's go then. Is What's there the next one? one, Native? What do you call Dracula with pause, hay pause. fever? What do you call Dracula with hay fever? This is definitely going to be a vampire. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's I can't These even. These are too the bad. Pollen count. Pollen. That is so a, bad. A pollen that count. That is so bad. That's bad. What Who do you wrote call? these? A uh, computer from the 1980s? Terrible. The pollen Terrible. count. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a nightmare. Yeah. A nightmare. So for those who didn't hear it, it's what do you call Dracula with hay fever? The pollen count. Get it? I, I just want to kill myself. Uh, me yeah. too. That's what I'm saying is like, I think this, this, I think do it. Oh man, here we go. He loves it. He loves it. That's what I think about that joke. Yeah. And he just how gave can, you a double thumb. Like it registered. How can the Jews whose book is 70% these people's book? Yeah. Like these people's book is 70% a Jewish book. Yep. True. How can the Jews be so funny and these fucking as Kurt Metzger said, these boiled hams. Yeah. They're so white. They look yeah. like, bo that's a Kurt Metzger joke. Yeah, no. These fucking bo white they bread, are. wonder bread in a snowstorm. We are but it, a cultureless, humorless group. But like you said, it's because they boil all the fun out of you because it, you can't have any sort yeah. of averse yeah. ideas or, or right? You, you got to be within here, the narrow confines of I hear you. behavior. I, that's true. You're trying, you're playing a very limited game. There's a lot of, yeah. uh, it's like operation. You got to get in yes, there. Yes, the yes. But the truth is, is these girls or the guys sluts, before, oh. they're sluts. Yeah. Everybody in these videos is a slut. No, <laughs> I'm saying they have their real selves. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They have sleepovers and they tell a joke about a tampon looking like a stick of dynamite <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Right. And they actually <laughs> yeah. have an authentic experience. And the fact that that authentic experience is separate from their time in church is, again, Sad. But do you think, though, because have you ever met or hung out with somebody who genuinely is like, they're so sheltered? That they have this like innocence way, or you're like, are you fucking serious? Where they 
they laugh at shit like that. Like they have yeah. such that, you know what I mean? No, like, I know people like that. I have an I, aunt I, who's like 75 and still like that. Where like she reads um, Reader's Digest right. books. Uh, it, they have a joke section and it's jokes like this. And she'll and the, sometimes laugh till tears. And, like, and the enjoyment is, is, um, is twofold. It's like the joke itself and also the relief. Yeah. That you weren't offended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You're sort of laughing in delight that she you finally found a joke for you. And, yeah. She's reaching for it. No, I'm just serious? making sure this is off. Oh, thank well, God. If it's up, it's off, right? <laughs> How many fucking farts? Is it up is off, up is on? I understand. Down is, is on. I think down's probably off. Say right? it again. Down is off. Oh, it's one of those weird mics where down is off? <laughs> I just had it on, so I just want to make sure it's not picking up. I do want to say it's not, it couldn't really be, you can't really have a church. Where people are telling tampon jokes. I understand. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. an idiot. But even the sheltered person, that's also going like, we'll create the appearance of holiness by withholding them from everything. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? When sad. really the way the way out is through. You know what I mean? True true holiness, I think it comes from going through all of, of that experience and yeah. having compassion. This is very Buddhist, but having compassion and love for all of humanity and all of that experience instead of just going, I'm going to sequester myself. That's a very 20th century Christian yes. idea where it's like we're just gonna we got no TV we got no and I understand limiting that stuff but it's like yeah when they co- fully isolate themselves it's now look how hard this nerd laughed at that fucking joke. yeah <laughs> she hasn't heard much she reminds me of if you need help. Help. laugh just why is she I laughing that hard I don't know if you need help building an ark I know a guy that's not a setup. Oh, building an that's arc. a punchline. I know a guy. Oh, we missed the setup on that one. There is no setup. No, that's just the. If you need help building an arc, I know a guy. He did it right. That's a punchline. I know a guy. I I know, but I'm saying like as far as the video goes, that's the beginning of it, right? That's the whole thing. Yeah. It's also this is a print joke. Yeah. They, they, uh, you don't know that that doesn't work read aloud. I'm gonna say this at the pulpit. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You're here to tell me the mysteries of the universe and you don't know this, this joke isn't going to work? By far, it is your like, I'm living. being irate. Yeah. One time I, I was in a hotel and I was flipping by, uh, I was in the Midwest or something, and there were televangelists, there was a televangelist, and he had a fucking hairpiece. Yeah. I was like, if you can't be honest about that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You're up there talking about truth. <laughs> and I got a fucking wig on. It's sliding down. Yeah. And Jesus tells us to be honest <laughs> with our neighbors. You fucking idiot. What's Bullshit. angering me is this guy's sunglasses on his oh, fucking yeah. dumb head. Yeah. Don't you yeah. hate when people do that? Or even worse, on the back of the neck? I want to oh, punch that's this that fucker guy around. Fieri thing. Yeah. Oh, my God, God damn it. Everyone's that. doing that, by the way. Um, Everyone? Go to the airport. You look really? like there are these hairy faced people facing you in there. Oh, so weird. This kid knows how to get to the mall. This kid, this kid <laughs> orders knows. a cheesecake factory without opening the mail. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Chicken and biscuits. <laughs> and I'm going to pre-order my Oreo cheesecake. <laughs> and I want you to put it in a cup and blend it. <laughs> you want us to blend it? Put it in a cup. They do it every week. And blend it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them Devin's here. <laughs> yeah. Devin. That kid's totally a Devin. With his free t-shirt. That's a totally free What t-shirt. else you got? A Let me hear it. Is there another one? Oh. Is that it? Which Bible character had no earthly parents besides Adam and Eve? Um, Which Bible character had no earthly parents? I feel like you could ne- you could probably get this one, Pete. Adam and Eve? Well, Jesus had Mary, but no dad. Right. Oh, there. But I'm looking at it like a Jeopardy question. This, no. this is just going to be too, a waste of our fucking time. It's too dumb. Yeah, time. just let it go. Let it go. Mm. Let it go. Wait. <laughs> Joshua, son of Nun. <laughs> She can't oh, even get it out. Wow. Laughing. She was so. Get it? She really thought that was funny. That's so funny. And I went so. to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I so do? funny. Because I, I went to like Catholic she... school and I went to Christian school. And I'm, I don't know Joshua, I don't know Joshua son, of son of none. I've never either. heard of that. No. That's another thing that's missing. Yeah. Will this joke play when spoken aloud? Right. No consideration. Yeah. Right. Is this a known biblical a reference? reference? Right. Yeah. When I said Bathsheba, these are your I areas. I got that one. Maybe yeah. Balaam's talking ass. Do you know that story? Balaam, mm-hmm. no. Balaam had a donkey, but in the Old Testament, they call him asses. So God spoke to Balaam through his ass. Hilarious. So now there's that's also, a good Bible joke. There's also my favorite is Hosea 3, 8, which is go show love to your wife, just as the Lord your God shows love to the Israelites. Though they turn their back on him and love the sacred raisin cakes, right? <laughs> we thought that was so funny because what the fuck is a sacred raisin cake? Do you know what it is? No. It's a bee hole. It's a euphemism for anal sex. What? Wait, it I was is. joking. Seriously? No, you were right. That's, that's your raisin cake? That's your sacred raisin cake, bro. In the Bible it says that? <laughs> Hosea 3.8, I believe. Wow. wow. That's in your part. 
That's in your part. <laughs> you fucking Jew motherfucker, you. <laughs> oh. That sounds like hardcore fun. That sounds like hardcore fun. And the, uh, the Israelites love the sacred raisin. Is that right? I did not and know that. No, I don't know if they do. Oh. But I mean. Your raisin cake. Hosea is pr- painting with a pretty broad brush. <laughs> Even if a third of them love the sacred raisin cake. Did everybody, was this, so that was something that people would be like, you know what a raisin cake is, right? Like they would whisper it to That's each other. That's funny though. That's genuinely even, funny. It's, it's a funny. Totally, yes. like, wow, even in the Bible, they're like, cake. we can't put, Asshole. I'm writing the Bible yeah. here. Yeah. I can't say they love eating ass. Yeah. <laughs> and what are they doing with the raisin cake? Giving a little perimeter tickle? Yeah, exactly. Are they getting all, are they moving in with luggage? All the they're way They're moving in, in with moving luggage. In. You a big anal guy? Never done it. No. Me neither. No. Me no, it's not, I'm not interested. I don't. I, it's not because I think it's gross or weird or anything. It's just I do. I like think it's gross and weird. Hilarious. That's why I don't want to do it. So funny. Honestly. Well, it's different for you because you'd be receiving, uh, unless you. Yes. Be, yeah, I guess you could strap strap on. You people. certainly can. O M G. 